It's the 2019 quarterly business meeting of the Island Club and the guest lecturer for today is the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar. I welcome you all to another edition of the Island Club business lecture. Members of the club, party officials and loyalists, including the Senate President Bukola Saraki and former President Ulisha Gumabasunjo, are present to witness the event. Welcome the former Vice President of Nigeria. While delivering his lecture on my vision to get Nigeria working again, the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar condemns the suspension of Justice Walter Onoge, describing it as unconstitutional. The Constitution provides laid down rules for the suspension or removal of the CGN and this has not been followed. This is a grave attack on our Constitution and the people of our country. He speaks on his plans to boost the economy through improved foreign direct investment and human capital development. We will create an economic stimulus fund with an initial investment capacity of approximately 25 billion US dollars to support private sector investments in infrastructure. Power sector reform will be a critical policy priority. In his remark, former President Ulisha Gobasinjo reaffirms his position on the performance of the current administration. First, a leader must know who he is and present himself as he is, a human being in blood and flesh and susceptible to human mistakes and human frailties. Don't cover up with sanctimonious veneer of bogus integrity. With barely two weeks to the election, political parties and their candidates will have more engagements like this, all in a bid to sell their programs to the electorate. However, the final decision lies with the voters, who will have the final say at the polls. Chris Elam.